Kinsey was started in 1965 by John Kinzenbaugh. Uh, he started out as a small welding shop and ultimately led to him having a small manufacturing company. The grain carts actually were the first mass-produced product that John did. Today we are over 630 employees. Being an innovative company, you want to be out in front of, of your competitors. You look at mining, you look at construction, uh, military especially, uh, you're beginning to see a lot of autonomous type uh, solutions in those industries. Uh, we felt that it was only a natural progression that those are going to continue to infiltrate other industries including agriculture. So it's very important for us uh, to not only explore those but bring those that we feel will ultimately be applied in the agricultural industry and specifically to agricultural products, bring those in-house and begin to productize those. The first thing we did was we went in to Kinsey and we talked about robotics and autonomy and sensors and algorithms and just sort of gave them a sense of what was possible with current technology and what we'd be seeing down the road in a few years. They, in turn, taught us about planting and harvesting and how their products are used and together we began to formulate a precise vision for an autonomous product. One of the things that impressed us about Jaybridge was their past experience and skills in bringing autonomous products to market. We saw in them that they were able to quickly uh, grasp our conceptual uh, ideas and where we wanted to go with autonomy uh, and they provided us instant feedback which was very important to us that uh, they had a good understanding of not only autonomy but how it could be applied to and through our products. What they needed was a partner with complementary experience in autonomy and robotics. And we have a team that has delivered product robots into very harsh environmental conditions that rival the conditions in farmers' fields. We know the sensors and the algorithms and we've developed software for fully autonomous robots in the past. And very importantly, we have a product mentality. We're not aiming to produce prototypes, we're aiming to help them build something that they can sell to the end user that will be robust and reliable. And I think these are the factors that made us a natural partner for Kinsey. We were looking for someone with an entrepreneurial spirit. We're an entrepreneurial company. We still are an entrepreneurial company. Uh, we needed somebody that was able to adapt with us and have flexibility and, and bring things to market quickly. We saw all those attributes and all those characteristics and that's ultimately why we selected them for this project. The goal here was to produce a complete product quality autonomous grain cart system. We started with a stock grain cart and stock tractor, so we had a lot of ground to cover. To begin with, we had to learn how a harvest workflow really goes. We're autonomy experts, but we're not farming experts, so we went out in the field with Kinsey, who are farming experts. We watched them harvest, we videotaped, we asked a lot of questions until we understood the harvest workflow, and in particular how a grain cart fits with, into that workflow, well enough that we could capture it in software. We had continuous direct communication from the beginning, not only at the engineering level, but also between managers. Our engineers and their engineers were out in the field together, sometimes in mud, sometimes in snow, initially learning how harvest worked and later testing the system as it evolved. In the end, we were entirely successful in creating what was effectively a single team. And all the way through the project, uh, their schematics, their uh, documentation, system documentation has been outstanding and has allowed our engineers to quickly get up to speed. We had to identify a number of important components. Those included an industrial embedded computer and a number of sensors to help the system navigate and avoid obstacles. All of these had to be relatively low cost components to make this a viable product. And so in order to pull together these low cost devices and still achieve reliable, robust performance, we had to rely heavily on our software expertise. So we developed an extensive set of software that could run in this very confined space. We developed some very advanced algorithms and that allows the system to react to the world around it in real time. And that's what makes it a, a safe and reliable autonomous screen cart system.